Welcome back to the Bravo Movie Review. Now, normally I don't do film reviews on bad or average movies, but I heard every wet behind the ear wannabe movie critic from here to Timbuktu try to brown those Netflix executives and they're raving about how great this movie was. Ma Rainey Black Bottom, Netflix movie. It's the, ooh, doggy, how great this movie is. So I, I had to check it out. <laughs> Wow, not too impressed, I can tell you that. I can see how this story might make a decent play on Broadway, Broadway, but hey, it's too slow for movie fans. The whole movie, I'm thinking to myself, just shut up and sing some blues. Not enough blues and too many N-words flying around like rappers on meth. And the only funny part of the whole movie is the stuttering nephew. <laughs> And when Levy banged Ma's lesbian girl toy. Yeah, Ma Rainey is a dyke. Quite frankly, this is a modern day spin ripoff of 1970s black exploitation films, only they forgot to hire a strong black leading man figure. <laughs> I guess in today's world, Ma Rainey tries to handle that role. Damn, I almost turned him, I almost didn't make it through the whole movie, but I forced myself. Okay, um, Ma Rainey is an unlikable creature who thinks her shit doesn't stink. I mean, wow, how did this ever get made, this movie? Denzel Washington and Danny Wolf, they're the producers. Uh, they produced this along with a dude, a Hollywood money man called Todd Black. Yeah, Todd Black, uh, no pun intended. This movie is based in the 1920s Chicago, and this is always a popular topic for Hollywood, 1920s Chicago, but they always seem to screw it up. They just don't know how to portray Chicago in the 1920s. And that's not surprising because the people who understand vintage Chicago, they're either dead or blacklisted by Hollywood. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some parts where Viola Davis does okay, mainly when she's singing. This is also Chad, Chadwick Boseman's final film playing Levy, and many, many people will watch this movie just because it's Chadwick Boseman's final film, and he does a pretty good job. I mean, again, but he, too much talking, not enough action, way too much talking, it's boring, and again, they're using the N-word way too much. I mean, I almost think like there's rappers, but there were no rappers in 1920, but they talk like rappers. Now, the story, this story was written by August Wilson, an American playwright who died in 2005. Wilson was born Frederick August Kittle. Now, uh, I had an uncle named Kittle on the Ohio River. This is a German name. So it's, it's kind of nice to see Netflix promoting work by men of German heritage, even though uh, he tried to deny his own German heritage. He changed his name to August Wilson. Uh, not really crazy about this movie. It would have been better as a play on Broadway. Just didn't work. Didn't work for a, a Netflix movie. I have to give this thing like a 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10 Bravos. It, it's, it's not too good.